I traveled across Europe. I got a chance to visit many countries such as uh, uh, Switzerland, uh, Italy. I covered most part of Italy, then France. I went to Paris, then Czech Republic and many parts of Germany. So it was a very good experience altogether. And then I thought that, okay, maybe research is something for me. I even got into a Microsoft Engage program, but I quit it because I felt that software is something that is not minor calling. Hi, everyone. In this video, I have with me Disha Malik from DTU. She has recently grabbed Dard Wise Scholarship. And we are here with her to talk about her entire journey. How can you take part in this particular scholarship? How can you apply? What are the perks and benefits? What all things you get as a part of the scholarship? And how was her experience? Like she's going to share each and everything, all the steps that can help you apply for these scholarships and you becoming more aware. So before starting this video, I would like to have a brief introduction of the Shah. Uh, so hi everyone, I am Disha Malik and I'm currently a final year student at Delhi Technological University, DTU. I'm pursuing chemical engineering and I have recently come back from Germany after uh, completing my internship, which was for a period of three months at Technical University of Munich. It was a very fulfilling experience at an undergraduate level. And thank you, Arsh, for giving me this opportunity to share my experience. And I hope that this video helps all those young friends who are uh, going to apply for this uh, DART by scholarship this year or for the upcoming year. Great. I think like people are generally not aware of such opportunities that are available for them. So basically, it's going to be a kind of awareness video also where people, more and more people come to know about this. And Disha is here to share her entire journey. Ki what all things you need to do if you want to get into such a scholarship. So uh, Disha, just a brief about what this scholarship is all about, who is eligible for this scholarship. So I just want to have an understanding of uh, the background of this internship. So put in very simple terms, Dard Wise Scholarship is uh, an opportunity that gives you a, a three month or a two month experience to work in an international setup, specifically here in Germany, where you can pursue your internship abroad, which in which all your financial expenses are taken care of by Dard. And you don't need to be in any particular branch or anything. You just need to be a pre final year student if you're pursuing a four year degree and you need to be in your third year or fourth year if you're pursuing a five year degree. And to apply, your CGPA should be more than 8.5, but the more the better. And uh, you can definitely go on the DART portal and uh, check whether your university is in the list of eligible universities or not. Uh, mostly all the universities in India are a part of this program. So you're good to go that way. Great. I think Malab, this is something for pre-final year students and there's no branch criteria. Anyone from any branch can apply for this. The most important thing, like the students for which they might be interested in are the perks and benefits. Like what exactly do you get in the scholarship, be it what are the finances that are covered, what all perks and benefits, what are the opportunities that you get through this particular scholarship. So we can have a discussion on that. Yeah. So uh, as a part of this DARDWISE program, you are entitled to a scholarship stipend of around 861 euros per month. If you convert it into rupees, that's somewhere around uh, between 70 to 80,000 rupees per month. And then you get a travel subsidy of round fare air ticket around 1,050 euros. So you can calculate accordingly for your duration of stay. You need to be there for uh, either 60 days or 90. 60 to 90 days and in my case i was there for exactly 90 days okay so it's a three months long uh program in which you need to stay mm -hmm. so like apart from these uh perks that you get right what exactly were the opportunities what kind of projects you worked upon like if i talk about from the point of view of uh how was it uh framed like that uh, from the application process to like if there were any interviews i would like to understand about uh, how did you apply? How did you got to know about this? And like, what was the entire application process? Video marketing channel, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video. That is ReLevel. ReLevel is a platform by an academy through which you can get your dream job within 15 days. 250% ka hike for 42 LPA ka CTC. This is what ReLevel achievers are doing. More than 1400 people have already got offers through ReLevel. ReLevel exactly karta kya hai. Mein bahut sare domains mein you can go and give your tests that too completely for free and you can get into jobs for companies like Swiggy, Xiaomi, many startups that are through jobs provide. Kar rahe 
uh, there are different domains be it digital marketing software engineering front end back end product management bahut sare aise fields hain jinme jaake aap apply kar sakte ho hr bahut sare aise fields hain iske baad aapko test dena agar aap test mein acha perform karte ho you will be getting interviews and you can interview for these companies and get your dream jobs also they have come up with their courses thing if you wish to prepare for these uh, re level tests they you can uh, enroll for their courses that come with a 14 days money back guarantee that is satisfied like if you are not satisfied with the course or if you are not able to understand you will get your money back instantly within first 14 days of enrollment so this is also something that you can similar to the story of shubham huja who did his bcom bcom karne ke baad kuch freelancing ke projects kiye uske baad he tried applying for multiple jobs nahi mila fir he gave the three level ka test now he has started working as a digital marketing manager in some big firm तो ऐसी स्टोरी आपके भी हो सकती है चेक आउट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड यू कैन रजिस्टर फॉर दिस फ्री टेस्ट राइट नाउ सो आई गॉट टू नो अबाउट दिस प्रोग्राम ड्यूरिंग माय फर्स्ट और सेकंड ईयर व्हेन वी वर इन द मिडल ऑफ अ लॉकडाउन आई वाज फिगरिंग आउट व्हाट टू डू विद माय करियर नेक्स्ट एंड दैट्स व्हेन आई गॉट टू नो अबाउट दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी थ्रू माय यूनिवर्सिटी सीनियर्स हु हैड बीन इन दिस प्रोग्राम बिफोर आई ट्राइड माय हैंड्स एट कोडिंग रिसोर्स एंड एवरीथिंग एंड देन आई थॉट दैट ओके मेबी रिसोर्स इज समथिंग फॉर मी आई इवन गॉट इन to a microsoft engage program but i quit it because i felt that software is something that is not my inner calling so i tried to uh, grab research internships here in india uh, i went for an internship at iit bombay one at drdo and one at aditya birla uh, group thailand and that's how i started building on my profile and i was aiming for such opportunities uh, like this one more that allows you to go to canada that is my tax so i was uh, hoping that i'd get into my tax because dad was too ambitious of a dream and i didn't think that i'd be making it because a very few in the country are finally selected so i started building my profile towards it and i worked hard to get a good cgpa in my university and after that uh, during the month of august last year i started building with my application so the first step is to get an email from a german host who's willing to take you in as an intern now i'm going to explain the application process in four simple steps so that anyone who's willing to apply out there would be knowing this from these simple four steps so the first step is to uh, create a Uh, an email which you are going to send across to professors of germany in which you are going to mention whatever uh, you've done so far and what is your cgpa from which university are from you are from and then uh, why do you want to work with that professor and finally your uh, research goals and all and do mention in that email this is a tip that do mention that you do not expect to be paid to work in their lab because many a times professors are looking for interns but they're not willing to fund uh, so in mm. that case they just ignore the email so do mention that you're going to be funded by dart so just you're looking for an opportunity to work under them and they'll be happy mm. to provide it to you if everything you've written in that mail is fine mm. so that mail should be uh, very much uh, crisp and concise and should show that you are someone who's very good fit for them who's a very good fit for them so after this uh, you have to send uh, this mail across uh, germany to the universities and you have to find your professor now how do you find your uh, dream professor so the idea is that in germany there are uh, tu9 universities that you can uh, simply go to the tu9 page and you'll find the list of nine universities that are the technical universities you can go to the to, to the pages and you can find your uh departments whichever you you are in whichever field you are interested to work in it's not necessary that if you're from a uh, branch a that you cannot work in branch b you can work in any way you want but you just need to show that you're capable of working and you have the potential to research mm-hmm. after this go to the tu9 page and find the list of the professors that you are willing to work under and uh, start mailing out to them now this process can be a bit chaotic and cumbersome so the idea is to create a spreadsheet mention the names of professors mention their emails and mark up uh, and make a column in which you can keep marking whether or not you've mailed it, mailed the uh, content to the professor hmm. yet or not and keep taking a follow up every one week or every two weeks because the professors are not hundreds of number and you need to be uh checking with them that whether or not they've actually received your email or not hmm. so hmm. one tip here would be that uh, do not just send that email 
during any time of the day i used to set an alarm on my phone that when uh, it would be around 9 9:30 there in germany it's like 3 and a half hours before indian time so uh, i used to set an alarm and whenever it used to be 12:30 or 1 pm here in india i used to send that schedule that email there mm-hmm. so it's like a, a smart tip because usually professors are checking out their emails during those times mm-hmm. and your uh, email getting them uh, notice from them is huge during that uh, yeah those are so after that the third step is that once you have a reply from the professor half the battle is won now you need to apply on the dart scholarship portal and there uh, you have to fill an online application form which is a very long form you have to fill all your details and why do you want to uh, go there and all of that and then along with that you have to submit a few documents such as your uh, letter of motivation your project proposal your uh, host uh, nocs that you have to Uh, get from your uh, university professor in germany then some of the nocs that you have to get from your indian university and after after that when you are done with all of this you are simply supposed to submit all of this in the uh, on the dart portal and then you have to print a copy of this and send it to dart delhi office and a tip here would be that people ask me usually that what to write in the letter of uh, motivation so hmm. one simple tip would be be very genuine be very authentic there's no any fixed pattern to it just uh, write why why do you want to uh, go to germany why why this professor then why university of the, like whichever university you're going to and simply be very authentic and genuine and draft that letter of motivation yourself do not copy it from someone because it's it's highly not recommended hmm. then after this the fourth step is now during the month of february or uh, march you're going to get a final reply from dart whether or not you're selected but don't think that if you have that reply from professor and if you have that invitation letter you're going to make it they again the dart again uh, conducts a screening process and checks mm-hmm. whether or not the person is suitable for this scholarship or not so it's again a screening process and a few mm-hmm. only around 80 to 100 or the num- this number varies year to year so whether or not you're selected this is uh, intimidated to you by the month of march or february and then when you get to it there is no time to celebrate you are immediately asked to work for the visa formalities and there's a lot of paperwork involved in the schengen visa and all of that has to be done you need to be very much um, ready with the accommodation and everything so and you need to be very quick on your toes and work for the for your visa you book your tickets you book for your accommodation and then finally you're good to go great so like you have explained it very extensively i believe everyone would have got a gist of ki how sh- they should apply from the very scratch till you get the final offer ki you have been offered this particular scholarship so that's that's totally awesome now i would like to understand like this is uh, the entire process so you uh, went for an internship there at in germany so how was your experience during that internship what all things you learned like did you feel that there was something that you should have learned priorly or that was something that was totally new to uh, you so how was your experience of the entire journey of that uh, three months that you went through so uh, everything was new nothing i could have learned here and gone there i mean nothing i came back with a bag of learnings that i'm going to cherish forever uh, initially for the initial days as it might seem on the outside it is not always roses and sunshine that okay mm. we go germany it's going to be a lot of fun but it's not like that initially when you are settling in there are a lot of uh, opportunities that you think okay i'll grab this i'll do that i'll do that but you are at the same time homesick you're struggling to find an accommodation hmm. uh, so all of these problems will be there for you and you have to handle all of this by yourself so in hmm. the initial days i was uh, i was trying to uh, settle in i, I was tr- struggling to understand okay this is my project because as the part of my project i was working on exaf uh, spectroscopy mm-hmm. and for those who don't do it simply means uh, studying the behavior of x ray absorption in an atom mm-hmm. so i was uh, not familiar with this concept at all and i had to work with very expensive equipments and i had to study them before working with them then analyze the results and analyze the data so all of this i had done nothing and everything i had to do on my own initially i was not in a very happy home space so i, I did not like it there at all 
But then I thought, no, this is not why I am here. I have to make the most of it. So mm. I got an, an accommodation there. And then finally, I started to understand, okay, this is my project. This is how I can do it. Mm. And then I started uh doing uh, trips i traveled across europe i got a chance to visit many countries such as uh, uh, switzerland uh, italy i covered most part of italy then france i went to paris then czech republic and many parts of germany so it was a very good experience altogether travel teaches you a lot and uh, i was in many tricky situations while traveling in which i had to handle everything on my own and i think this is the experience that definitely makes you street smart so to crack that you basically need to be book smart you need to have those internships you need to have a cgpa but when you come back you come back with smartness so that is what the entire process teaches you from the application to visa to staying there i mean all of this is a mixed bag and you are definitely a changed person after one year great Great, great. Uh, one thing that I would like to ask is like generally students are not into research roles in India. Most of them, like they don't feel like there's an option of research roles in India. So what are the prospects of somebody who is like doing these internships, be it my techs or be it this uh, DART scholarship? So how can they leverage the learnings that they have had in these scholarships to any prospects of a job or any prospects of research here in India after that? Yeah, so it's just a bias that if you are initially into research, you cannot switch or you cannot do anything else. Talking about myself, while I was there, I was preparing for my placements and now I have an on-campus offer. So the idea is that, and, and it's not related to research at all. So the idea is if you can explain it to someone uh, that what that whatever you are doing, why are you doing that? And you have yeah. that reasons for you to doing it because everything comes with the learning. As I said, yeah. I was into coding initially. I learned BSA and also that did help me during my internship so everything comes with the learning you can switch whatever whenever you feel like and there's no such uh, possibility of not doing research in india iits iscs are extremely good platforms or uh, universities to work at and uh, definitely if you have those research experiences you know you are always on your toes working on something and that is what is needed of you you're not supposed to know it all from your first or second year you just do it and try it like i did so it's absolutely fine if you think that research is right now not for you but at the same time you just try your hands at it and then decide whether or not you're going ahead with it yeah thank you so much disha once again for sharing your journey it was quite insightful and i hope many people would uh, be benefited from the same who are looking forward to apply for such scholarships or who are not yet aware of such scholarships thank you so much once again Thank you. Thank you much for having me. And one tip for the juniors would be that if you are very confused right now, if you're thinking that what is this process, I'm not liking it, I'm not getting a reply back. So just don't worry when on the other side of the table, it feels like that only. This is the process. You're just going the right way and all the best to all those who are working out there. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for having me.